Yeah, sleepy. I'm finna go down. Welcome to the Explode TV. So, peak game, right? All of y'all niggas still think that y'all niggas were brought over here as slaves when we came from Africa. It was other Africans that were sold to slaves and blase, blase. This and then the third. So, I'm here to tell you. Half of that shit is fucking wrong. I'm gonna finish prove to you. <laughs> through history and through your Bible. So come on, take this little quick journey with me. Because I think they try to do this on the 15 minutes flat. So pick game, right? I can't remember the name of the books right now. I don't think. But anyway. I will write it down in the in the uh, you know in the uh, description below or whatever. So P game, right? A couple books out there. White man really don't want you to read them. Go ahead and read them. And you'll know that the first original people that they seen over here kinda look like me. Okay? That's one thing that you need to remember. That all y'all didn't come from fucking Africa. They know that, now you know that. Two, <laughs> yes, yeah, some of y'all did come from Africa. Yes, yeah, some of y'all was in slavery and shit. Yeah, no, you weren't African. Let me explain. Let's go back to Africa, right? They weren't selling their own people. They knew this. Some of y'all know this. The white man know this. What they were doing was selling the people that was fleeing from invading lands. Okay? Now your Bible talks about this too. How about the tribe of Israel went through and was being invaded by the conquering people of the north, aka white people. So what you did was you ran down from the land of Israel. Which is being happened by them goddamn Kazars, them Kazars and shit. You know, Trump people. <laughs> and you came down to Africa. Remember, Jesus did Jesus did the same thing. Or Emmanuel, or whoever you want to call him, did the same thing. Now, why was he able to hide? Because he was black. I think it was King Solomon that did the same thing. Why was he able to hide in Africa? If the, You know what I'm saying? Africa was, it was black by then. Because he looked like the same people. You feel me? So Pete Gang, right? You was running away because you broke the commandments of your father, of your, of your God. Okay? He told you in Deuteronomy that if you <coughs> that if you had fucked up, he was gonna put you back in the land of Egypt. Not Egypt and Africa. Egypt meant the bondage, the house of bondage. Would mean you was gonna be fucked up, okay? For 400 years, you hear me? We still in slavery right now. I'm going to get to that in a minute. Pete, right? He told you everything that was going to happen to you. You was going to be sold. You wasn't nobody going to be able to buy your goddamn freedom. You was going to lay with your wife, but in a day she could be gone. That goes for you and your children. You're going to be beat mercifully. You're going to till the land, and you ain't going to get shit from it. Don't that sound like some slavery shit that your ass had, that your forefathers had went through? <laughs> so, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Let me go back up and let me go back to history. So, Pete Gray, right? They got the gates still to this day. What they don't tell you is about the Arab slave trade that over 28 million of us had died in. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> see, over here on the West, it was different. For every two men, it was one woman. <coughs> in the Middle East, for every one woman, for one, one man, it was two women. Because they was basically using our women to breed with in this, that, and the third. And was killing our men off. You know, working till it just didn't like you. This shit like that. They gave us... Uh, of a fucked up ass demeanor as names and basically ran us through the wire. They said none survived during the Arab slave trade. They made sure of that shit. If you go, that's why they don't respect nothing over there because that's not their shit. 
That's your shit. That's our shit. Well, we can get back there because we the fucked up with our God. Okay? Pete Gang, right? Your history book says that these people ran from Germany and Poland and shit and came down to the land of Israel as you see now. Okay? And then they made that shit a nation. How you gonna make some shit a nation through a government? And then act like they, they was a part of the Bible because they went through the little country thing. Yeah, that was ooh, ooh, up, up, this, that, and the third, but they don't talk about them black people that suffer with them, too. Go look it up if you think I'm bullshit, okay? So, what I'm saying to you is, after you fucked around and disobeyed the most high, and your ass fled back down, and fled down to Africa, and you fucked around and got with you know, um, Ham and them folks. It was a rap out of that. Because they didn't like you anyway. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, they grabbed you. They hunted your ass down. They sold you off and shit. You hear me? They tried to show you that shit in the first part of Roots, but you weren't paying no goddamn attention. Wake up, niggas. If you think I'm bullshitting, I'm not the only color of person that's saying this same shit. You hear me? I know a lot of white people that know the same damn thing. I know a couple of them personally. So I digress. Let me get back to the story. You came down. Some people didn't like you. So what they did, they sold you out. For cannons and guns and shit. You see what I'm saying? They already had the money in Africa. It's, it's, it's boom. They got now going and shit. So they sold you for the ten dollars that the white man had already. Okay? Now Pete Gay, right? Out of all y'all that came over here, I'm like eight percent of y'all made it over here. For real, for real. Cause they was trying to sink the ships and shit as they went off. I'ma start. They be throwing them motherfuckers over for real when they when they get through overcrowding and shit. Cause they was sneaking some in, even when slavery was abolished. You hear me? They know it. So if you think I'm bullshit, everybody got a hood. You probably got an African person in your hood that owns the know. Go up to them, ask them, are you an African American? They're going to probably tell your ass hell no. Because you really ain't from Africa. You from Israel. You are the Israelites. You are the true Israelites they talk about in the Bible. <coughs> you under that curse. Until the Most High come back and you make that new covenant. But your preacher ain't going to tell you that shit. Your history books ain't going to tell you that shit. That's the hidden shit that they don't want you to know about. That's why all this shit going on. All this shit mainly revolves around you. Once you, once the most high put you back and, and restore power, it'll be peace on earth. As Hitler, Hitler said it. And a couple more people said it. If you, if you think I'm bullshitting about that, go look it up. You got a phone, you watching this on YouTube, boo up out of here. The real shit though. You are, you are the chosen children. So, with that being said, black people, if I'm fit to I ain't gonna say I'm fit to preach to you, but I'm fit to peak gang. I'm fit to put your gang real quick, right? Listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying, right? <coughs> <coughs> the most high. Who hear me his own boy <coughs> created all the lands and the rocks and the mountains and the seas. The whale that swims in the ocean and, and the trees and this and that and the third. It made you and me from 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 day one to now. No matter how many millions and we is what scientists talk about, we talking about just from here to now. From whatever you you know, what is this the life you think you live on? From the rip from here to now. Gave you his beguiled son. Not the whole world. Cause like I said, when you read the Bible, you gotta you gotta switch the memories up a little bit. And that's one of my favorite script, you know, one of my favorite scriptures. 
For God so loved the world, he was talking about the world of Israel, the Israelites, that he gave it, he gave his one begotten son. Those who ever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Okay? So when you die, you sleep. You don't go to heaven right away, because remember, he's coming back for you. Okay? That's what he said. The, the, the dead are not dead. They sleep. They have eternal sleep and time to wake them up. Okay? Remember when Jesus woke up Lazarus, Lazarus was already dead. Lazarus was dying in hell, heaven. He was asleep. He told Lazarus to rise. Because he was asleep. And Lazarus got up. Okay? So, <laughs> he said, if you just keep his commandments, all will be one. We fucked up down the line. So, we going through these 400 years. Okay? Because we fucked up with our father and our creator. So he tapping that ass. You see what I'm saying? So once he get through tapping that ass, he going to be like, hey, now check this out, right? I done showed you what I can take you and your generations through. Right? I'm going to need you to buy by these new commandments, fam. And all we want. Now, you ain't going to be as high as you once was. But you're going to be Gucci. You hear me what I'm saying? And that's something your preacher ain't gonna tell you. So, let me say this. You need to understand that you come from the hand of God. Literally. Like, You are the chosen people. And you out here shaking your ass and killing yourself and killing each other and doing this, doing that and embarrassing yourself. Every time you do that, you you basically doing that shit to God. Every time you shake your ass on Facebook, Instagram, you shake your ass in front of God. Remember that shit. You do dirt, you doing that shit in front of God. Everything you do, he see that shit. Yeah, true enough, other races might do that shit too. But he told you don't do that shit. And you're doing that shit. So what you think he gonna do? Go tear that ass up. So, get about your knowledge yourself. Okay? Because the rest of the world know who you is. And that's how they getting off. Because you don't know who you is. You are a greater people. <sighs> From Mississippi Smooth TV, man. Get about yours and get your education on. We out.